Hello everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to work with masking in Photoshop CC. Um, it, it, this is, in this example I would like to get rid of this leaf. Uh, there's so many different ways of doing it. For instance, obviously I can pick up the eraser tool and erase this one. The reason it's colorful is because I have this color assigned for the background color. I'm going to undo it, switch to black and white. Now if I erase, I see white. And that's pretty much gone. But the problem is this image is affected permanently. So this is destructive editing. If my client changed their mind or I changed my mind, I want to bring this back f for any reason, I'm not able to do that because this is gone. Um, obviously you can do, un you can undo basically by pressing Control Z or Command Z, but that is not what I'm talking about. If I save this as a file, it will save it as it is. So I do not have any step back and I cannot basically um, bring back the leaf. So what we're going to do is using masks to create non-destructive editing. In order to do so, in the bottom of the layer, you click on Add Mask. Which adds this mask layer. As soon as that happens, you can pick up the brush tool. And we work with black and white and masking process. So black hides and white reveals. What that means is this. I can just brush over this area and that goes away. But as you see the picture is not damaged. Um, all, all that happened is I'm scratching over the mask layer. Meaning I can switch to white color here. So white is on the top. Now if I paint over it actually brings this back and this is the best way of editing an image in the sense that this is non-destructive if you save this file as a PSD file, Photoshop file you always have access to this masking layer and can come back and make changes to it. Uh, I hope uh, this helps you to understand masking in Photoshop. Thank you for watching.